Good day once again everyone and you are welcome to Mathematics Solution Center. Today we are looking at the question that says find the roots of x cubed minus 7x minus 6 is equal to 0. Solution. This is the given equation that we want to find the root. Now, one thing you should know is that a root is a value that satisfies the equation. There's a particular value that I will place in place of x that the whole of this equation will be equal to 0. Then that value is a root of this equation, is a value that satisfies the equation. Okay, now we call those values the root. Now there's a relationship. Let's say the root of this equation are alpha, beta, and then gamma. The product of these three roots, there's a relationship between them and the constant term. They must be equal to what? The negative of the constant term. Minus of what? Minus 6. Okay, from that, it shows that what? Probably one of these values, alpha, beta, and gamma, must be what? A factor of 6. So that I will know the values I will try in this equation that we give you 0. Once I can get one value, then I will know how to get the other value by using it to reduce this equation to a quadratic equation. The possible values of uh, these roots can be minus 1 or 1, because 1 is a factor of any number minus 2 or 2 and then 3 and minus 3 and can be also a fraction okay but let me just try minus 1 and 1 let's try 1 first we are going to try f of 1 is equal to in a s cube minus 7 s minus 6 then we are going to have a f of 1 that is 1 cube minus 7 minus 6 which is equal to 1 minus 7 minus 6 this is not going to give us 0. 1 minus 7 is minus 6 minus 6, which is equal to minus 4. Therefore, f of um, 1 is not a root. 1 is not a root. Let's cross this out. Let's try f of minus 1. f of minus 1 is going to be equal to minus 1 raised to power 3, then minus 7 into bracket minus 1, then minus 6. Minus 1 cube is minus 1. Minus 7 times minus 1 plus 7. Minus 6. If you take a look at this, this is going to be what? Minus 1 plus 7 is a plus 6 minus 6. Good and beautiful. This gives what? 0. Minus 1 is a root. One, minus 1 is one of the conditions that satisfy the equation. It shows that what we can say that x is equal to what? Minus 1. Therefore, x plus 1 is equal to 0. x plus 1 is one of the factors of this cubic equation. x cubed minus 7x minus 6 x plus 1 is one of the factors. So a factor, we divide in a given expression without any remainder. So we can use this factor to reduce in this simple polynomial or cubic equation. So a simpler equation, that is what we are going to do. Let's divide this polynomial by x plus 1. Since x plus 1 is its factor. But we are going to write it in this format, x cubed minus or plus 0x squared then minus 7x minus 6. This is how we are going to write the expression because we know that uh, the x raised to power 2 term there is not there. That means it has a coefficient of 0. Then we have x plus 1 outside. x raised to power 3 divided by x, we have x squared. Then use x squared to multiply this. Then we are going to have x raised to power 3. x squared times 1, we have plus x squared. Then let's subtract. Here will be minus. So we have 0 minus x squared. Then we are going to have minus x squared. x cubed minus x cubed is 0. Bring down minus 7x. Then we are going to have what? Minus 7x. Then let's divide again. Minus x squared divided by x, we have minus x. Use minus x to multiply what we have outside, then we are going to have minus x squared minus x. Let's subtract again. We are going to have minus 7x minus minus x, that is minus 6x. 
minus x squared minus minus x squared that would be zero and we bring down minus six okay and now we divide we are dividing minus six x by what x minus six x divided by x we are going to have minus six here so use minus six to multiply then we have minus six x minus six then let's subtract minus 6 minus minus 6 that is 0 minus 6x minus minus 6x that is 0 for the fact that we have a remainder of 0 it further confirms that what x plus 1 is a factor of um, s cubed minus 7x minus 6 therefore we have used it to reduce it to another factor of it which is x squared minus x minus 6 is also a factor and this x squared minus x minus 6 has its own factors that we can also get x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0 so let's get the other factors of this factor of another polynomial then what are we going to have we look for two numbers that can be multiplied together to get minus 6 and then these two numbers add together to get minus x then these are what x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6 is equal to 0 so let's factorize this and this this and this then we are going to have x into bracket x minus 3 then plus 2 into bracket x minus 3 is equal to 0 therefore we have x plus 2 and then what x minus 3 is equal to 0 all the factors of this polynomial these are x plus 1 x plus 2 and x minus 3 is equal to zero these are the factors of the polynomial what do we have to do now product of three things equal to zero each of them is equal to zero x plus one is equal to zero therefore x is equal to minus one x plus two is equal to zero and it means that x is equal to what minus two and then x minus three is equal to zero and it means that what x is equal to what so these are the factors of the polynomial minus 1, minus 2, and 3. Thank you for watching. Keep on watching Mathematics Solution Center. If you have a question, you can put it in the comment section. Thank you for your support and remain blessed.